X-Men is not a joke. All right, so things are about to pop off. X-Men is about to pop off. Now, here's the thing. I didn't watch Miss Marvel. And that's not because I hate Miss Marvel and again Miss Marvel. I looked at the trailer and I was like, that's not for me. Simple. Same as, I'm not sure it's a good show and everything, but I'm like, that's not for me. Same thing. Um, the New Hawk show. From what I've seen of that New Hawk show, I say, that is not for me. Now, I may watch the first episode because I'm like, okay. Because see, the thing with Miss Marvel is teenage girl. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, that's just, that's, that's out of my demographic, you know. Um, but even with the Hawk show, I'm like, because it's, it looks so stupid. I'm silly that I'm like, and and the CGI is so bad. See, if the CGI was good, I was like, okay, this Hulk thing seems interesting. But the CGI is so bad, I'm like, you know what, I'm good. Um, X-Men. We'll put a pop-up. So, final episode, Homeboy says to the lead that, you know, you might be mutated then. So, it really seems as if they're now trying to guide into X-Men. And this is what I've always said. I've always said that um I um I I I am out of the MC. Again, I didn't bother watching film. Um I watched Doctor Strange to some way. But yeah, like like Thor, I didn't even bother watching Thor. And from the stuff I've seen of Thor, because I've seen some scenes from from the new Thor film, that thing looks horrendous. It looks horrible, absolutely horrible. And I'm like, yeah, these guys are done. The only way MCU can get me back in, and the only way I think MCU can survive, is if they deliver X Men well. No one cares about Fantastic Four. Sorry, no one cares. It's all about it's all about X Men. It's all about X Men, Cyclops, Storm, Wolverine, Beast. Those dudes. It's all about those freaking dudes. But here's the thing, because I'm not worried. Are they? Is their plan for X Men going to be um, all young people? Because I saw something on Twitter where they said like. We have um, Wanda's kids. I think one of them is like... Is it Quicksilver? No, no, but I think you have Wanda's kids who have powers. You have the kid in Doctor Strange who can go through multiverses. And of course, you've got Kamala in this Miss Marvel. Is that Are they just going to now use kids? Because that would be horrible. Because, again, you have to look at what I think is the gold standard, which is the X-Men TV show um, from Fox. Jubilee was the kid. And because it was for kids, we viewed the X-Men through the eyes of Jubilee because Jubilee was just entering in and we viewed the X-Men and the way X-Men was through the eyes of the young one who was Jubilee. But you have to have those totem poles of Storm, Cyclops, Wolverine, Beast, Jean Grey and so forth. Those are the totem poles that must be there and can't be kids. You know, so, but what has me worried is because of stuff that I've seen from Thor. Because what is worrying about Thor is if this thing does really well, then guys are like, or let's just double down on this kiddie comedy thing. X Men is not a comedy, bro. See, that's see, that's what makes me worried. X Men ain't a comedy. X Men ain't funny. Yeah, there, 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 I'm missing things in there, but X Men is very serious. <laughs> and look, if you look at the, the freaking cartoon, this was a cartoon made for kids. That cartoon was dealing with serious stuff. It was serious, and you had guys with serious issues, and they took it seriously. X Men is not a joke. So. Don't bring me that crap from um, Thor, where El Thor is not a complete clown and so forth. Don't give me that crap, bro. The, I, I repeat, X-Men is not a joke. You screw up X-Men, I'm out. You screw up X-Men, I'm out, and I'm never coming back, bro. That's it, because X-Men, I don't play with X-Men, bro. I don't, I don't play that. that. Those are my guys, baby. Those are my guys. So, um, I'm interested to see what they will do. I'm interested to see what they will do and how... Because I'm guessing that X Men is going to be Phase Five. Phase Four has, has been garbage. I like the TV shows, the films. It's been garbage. And like guys, if guys, let's let's keep like guys, let's keep it let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack. No Way Home was a trash film. No Way Home was just um was built off no, nostalgia. It was for nostalgia missions. That was what it was. But I've listened to it once because as soon as I finished No Way Home, I was like, I'm not watching this again. This is all about what you get to the cinema in the moment. With the reaction from the crowds, and that's it. You can't watch that film again because it's not a good film. It is built based off of, hey, these are the Spider-Men, and that's it. So, 
Because for X-Men, man, see, the, the key to X-Men, I mean, we'll, we'll talk more when it gets closer, but key X-Men, the casting has to be amazing. Why Brian Singer's was trash was he had James Marsden as Cyclops, which was horrible. From Kianskin as Jean Grey, that's, that is good. That's, for me, I think that is good casting. That is good casting. Um, I suppose he, he, he grants, um, Homeboy, what was his name? Freaking, um, um, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, too tall, too tall. And this is where they, they messed up. I forgot to know what his name is. He's the guy from, um, oh God, I've forgotten, well, I've forgotten the name of the, of the film. But he was good as Beast. I think he was Beast in the little film. Now he was good as as Beast. That good. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, man. But I have to reiterate this, Kevin, Kevin Feige. If you are listening, X Men is not a joke. 